All right. Okay, so in terms of, again, I just wanted to kind of like me and kind of just make sure we know where we're at in terms of, of lab. I mean, again, remember, you know, in a normal semester, we're in lab for three hours every week, right? Um, and so that means that, you know, you have to, there's going to be time that you're going to be spending, you know, completing these labs like you guys have been to kind of take the place of, of that time. Um, now, I do have to catch up on some grading. I'm aware of that. I will. Um, I just didn't get to as much as I could this, this weekend. So I will catch up on all the grading uh, for the labs that you guys have submitted. Um, for those of you that attended the in-person labs, I am keeping track of that. Remember, that gives you an advantage, right? You're going to be able to drop a grade when it comes time for the lab exams. If you don't attend in person, you're not going to have that, that option, right? So basically, it's a bonus or extra credit for those of you guys that are attending in person. Um, so, so anyway, that, that I'm keeping track of that. I have a separate spreadsheet for that. Okay, um, any, I guess any questions about kind of any of the assignments right now, up until now or anything like that? Nothing, I mean, I guess I, I wanted to also give you guys a chance to ask questions specifically pertaining to lab itself. I have a question, when is gonna be the next lab in person? Next week. So again, remember that the lab schedule is here. You can check the lab schedule. We're still going by that schedule. I just had modified the time slightly. So it's right here, right? Right under the syllabus, in-person lab procedures and schedule. If you click that, um, okay, it shows you the dates. So next week, 10, Tuesday 10 6 we'll be meeting in person, okay, to do diffusion and osmosis. So like I said, if I can't get this video up or whatever, I may just, I don't know, I may just tell you guys, you don't have to worry about this lab and we just do the in-person lab. So just look for an email from me to tell you what to, what to do. So I'm just gonna show you what I have kind of planned or what, what that online assignment is. But because we're doing this as an in-person lab anyway, um, that may not even be necessary, okay? So I just wanted to, ex I'll explain that to you guys in a second. So remember the schedule is here, right? So for next week, the topic is diffusion and osmosis. Um, so like I said, what we may do is maybe just spend more time in person and I'll just video what you guys are doing. You guys that are in there in person, all, you have, all you're gonna have to do is the in-person lab. Everyone else who's not there will then have to complete that, um, you know, kind of along with you or after the fact, okay? So I'll let you guys know about that because honestly, I'm not gonna, I, I spent a lot of time making this stupid lab based on this video and now I can't get access to the dumb video again. Um, so it doesn't make sense for me to do that again and for you guys to do another in-person lab. So I'm not gonna do that, okay? So I'll let you guys know. Um, but most likely that's what I'm going to do. For next week, it's the diffusion and osmosis lab. You will just come in. Maybe it'll be a little bit longer than we have been doing because you wouldn't have had that other online lab to prep you for it. And that will be the diffusion and osmosis lab. Okay, is that clear to everyone? So right now, let me show you on Moodle. Um, who at that? Yourself, you asked about the schedule. Are you okay with the schedule? Yeah. Okay, so we're going by that. Nothing's changed um, and it probably will remain that way. Okay, so after next week, we won't have another in-person lab until November 3rd, okay? Um, and remember for the in-person labs, we're scheduled, we're scheduled to meet starting at three o'clock, okay? Um, all right, so let me, let me just minimize that if this guy will go away. Um, okay, um, that's me trying to get into this stupid video. Okay, all right guys, so if we go down into our week, so again, you know, last week we did the chemical composition of cells. Those, of, there was the in-person, but there was also um, the assignment that was completed before you guys got there, okay? Um, so those should all be submitted. Right, the mini lab report for the chemical comp composition of cells. Remember, it's not to complete the PDF. The assignment is just to hand in that mini lab report. All right. Any questions about that, guys? Um, I had handed it in both, um, just in case. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, as long as it's there, you're good. As long as you submit it. Okay. Yep. Um, like I said, I'll start to get through those in the next couple of days or whatever. Um, and my plan is by you know by next week, everything will be graded in terms of those labs. Um, okay, so I just want to remind everyone. So all of these lab assignments should be submitted. The other one for last week was really just doing, you know, labeling those cell diagrams. 
So everyone should have submitted that as well. That was a PDF and I know some of those files were too large. So some of you guys just emailed it to me, that's fine. Um, and so if you emailed it to me, I have it. When I go to grade, I'll just check back on my emails and I'll put those grades um, in Moodle, okay? So don't worry, um, I, I have those. And I think I sent an email back just confirming to everyone that I got it. Um, any questions about that, guys? No? Okay. All right. So then, like I said, for next week, and what we were going to do this week is this, okay? So to, to prepare for next week. But like I said, since we have that, we're doing that in-person lab next week anyway, most likely I'm going to um, sort of change this assignment here. So, I mean, nobody should have been able to do the assignment because you can't see the video. Um, so that's good that nobody submitted it. Um, so I guess what, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm probably going to hide all these and you guys aren't going to have anything to do except for this diffusion and osmosis to show up for in-person lab next week, or we'll complete that lab next week. So there won't be anything to do ahead of time. Um, unless I think there's some background information that I might give you, but for right now, I'm probably going to leave it as don't worry about it. Okay. Like I said, if there's something I want you to kind of do ahead of time, maybe it's just to read some, um, maybe to look at this PowerPoint um, and answer a couple questions or something like that, then I'll let you guys know, okay? I thought, I, I did have figure out how to get access to it again and then it, it went away. And so that's why I'm like, oh my God. So if you click on this link, just so you guys know, it's not gonna show you anything. It's gonna show you 20 seconds, okay? So that's, that's what the issue is. Um, so I guess we want to stay tuned for that, okay? So stay tuned for what you need to do ahead of time. It may just be show up for lab next week, okay? Questions about that, guys? So what I'm going to do actually right now is I'm going to hide this assignment, and then I will modify it and put, um, just so nobody tries to go and do it, even though it's really hard to do it without the video. Like I said, if I can find that video and figure out how to get access to it, I'll, I'll fix it. But otherwise, um, I'll probably just do something in place of it. Okay, guys? So annoying, but um, what the hell happened? Oh, anyway, I'll hide that assignment. Don't worry about it. I'll do it after. Okay, so moving forward, right? We're going to have a lab exam. So let me, let's make sure we know when that lab exam is and what's going to be on that lab exam, okay? So the diffusion and osmosis lab, what we do for it next week will be on that um, osmosis, um, osmosis, <laughs> will be on that lab exam, okay? So that lab exam is scheduled for next week. Now what I probably will do, you're going to obviously not be able to do it until after you do this lab. Um, so I'll either make it like I'll give you guys kind of Friday to Monday to do it, or I'll just open it up that following week or something like that, okay? So, but no, after that diffusion and osmosis lab, we are gonna have a lab exam, okay? Now, there is a review sheet here. It, the lab exam will be on Moodle, okay? Um, so there's a review sheet right here. The only reason why I don't, oh, we can push it back to the next week. Yeah, so it'll be fine. Most likely, I'm probably gonna move it so that let me do that right now. Your lab exam will be the week of October 12th, okay? It won't be next week, it'll be that following week. So like I said, I may tell you guys, hey, just go in and do it on your own. Or I may say at 2 p.m. we're logging in via Zoom, that's most likely what I'm gonna do this week, and we're gonna take that lab exam, okay? It's more like a lab quiz, okay? I really wouldn't call it a lab exam, to be honest. Um, I believe there are 20 questions. They're all multiple choice, okay? but they are based on the labs that we did. And so there is a review sheet here. So this is what I really wanted to make sure I made you guys aware of this. Um, so if we look at this review sheet, okay, um, it's, you know, it's everything that we've done, you know, so far in lab. But like I said, it's more like a lab quiz, not a lab exam, okay? So I probably shouldn't call it a lab exam because I feel like that gets everyone nervous. Um, so remember, we did the metric measurement in microscope lab, right? We should be able to do some basic conversions. There's probably only one question on a conversion, right? Converting, say, from meters to centimeters or centimeters to millimeters. Um, for temperature, um, conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius, that was in that lab as well. We didn't really focus on that too much. To be honest, I probably don't even ask you a question um, 
like that. So I'll go back, maybe I'll take this off. But um, regardless, I, I would tell you how to do the conversion or whatever, and you could just do it. So it would be, I would tell you that equation essentially. Okay, I don't expect you guys to memorize the equation because that would just be gone in, in a second. Okay, and then some of you know the concepts that we talked about with the microscope. Okay, all of that stuff is on there. I could remember I told you I could put a picture of like onion cells and ask you, is this a plant cell or an animal cell? Right? So there are pictures in that PDF um, that you did in that metric and microscope lab that's for the cheek cells and also for the onion cells. And we also looked at that, um, the onion cells under the microscope, and I also showed you guys pictures. Um, in lab, right? We made sure we went over that. And so if you check the video from lab, that's also in there as well, okay? Any questions about that lab, guys? We all kind of remember that? Okay, then the next lab that you guys did was the chemical composition of cells, right? So this was testing for the presence of protein, testing for the presence of simple sugars, right? Testing for the presence of starch, okay? So I expect, again, that you know you know, what test tests for what. And then also if I showed you a picture and said, okay, you know, an iodine test was done on this, which one is positive, which one is negative, okay? So for that, that's the kind of questions I'll ask you. Again, straightforward, you know, multiple choice questions. And then lab four was, um, these were the cell diagrams. So I can show you a diagram of the cell saying identify this organelle, okay? And they'll be, it'll be super clear. I know there's a couple, in that PDF in the lab that are a little like, kind of, you're like a little confusing, but the ones that I asked you will be super clear, okay? Um, in terms of identifying a mitochondria, right? Identifying the nucleus, that kind of stuff, All right? And then the last part is uh, diffusion and osmosis, okay? Um, and again, we haven't done this yet, um, but that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So I may have to modify this slightly if we don't have that video, but um, for the most part, it's kind of, it's similar to what we would have been doing anyway. Any questions, guys? Okay, so like I said, for, for now, you don't have to worry about a lab assignment this week, okay? Focus on lecture and, and watching the recorded lectures for chapter five and chapter six. Um, I will let you know if I want you to do some sort of assignment you know, pertaining to diffusion osmosis before lab next week. But our in-person lab next week will be diffusion and osmosis, okay? And then again, remember, right after that lab, that following week, we'll have that lab quiz, okay? Um, and we can review for the lab quiz if, if we feel like we need a little more review. Um, I'm fine with that, but I wanted to make you guys aware that the review sheet is here. Probably a good idea to start reviewing, right? Um, remember, there are videos posted for all the labs too. Okay, um, for the in-person labs. Um, any questions, guys? No? Okay, um, well that's, so that's pretty much it. So like I said, just be on the lookout. I, if I want you guys to do something or I get that video to work, um, I'll, I'll just give you guys a heads up and say, hey, you guys can click the links and, and do that assignment. But the assignment that I'm, I am, per, um, referring to is this here, okay? All of this was all kind of together, all right? Otherwise, we don't need to worry about anything just now, just yet, unless I tell you. All right, guys, if you have questions, just let me know. I'll stay on for a little bit, but otherwise, um, you're free to go. Free have to a great day, Thank Professor. You day. Should we be expecting that email like later tonight? I mean, if I, yeah, if I figure it out, it would probably be today or tomorrow. Um, otherwise, you know, I, I mean, definitely by Thursday, I'll be like, hey guys, forget it. You don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like, on Monday night. oh, by the way, make sure you do this or whatever. All right. Okay? So you're not going to throw it at us last minute. Right? No, exactly. So like, like I said, if I don't, if I don't come up with something by Thursday, then I'm just going to tell you guys, you're going to show up for lab and I'll have, I'll, I'll, we'll basically do it, you know, in person and that's it. Okay. All right. Yep. See you on Thursday, Professor. Bye. Take care. Okay. See you on Thursday, Professor. Bye, Sapir. You have a question, Vanessa? I'm supposed to talk to you about after. Okay. You got it. No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get email me, right? Yeah.
Yeah, that's fine. That works. Uh, Kier and Elizabeth, do you guys have a question? No, I don't have a question. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Vanessa. Um, let me stop recording. Second.